2023 presidential election has created a clear distinction between those who desire to see this country succeed and those who are part of destroying it and have sworn that the dream of a better Nigeria will never see the light of the day. This video I'm going to show you now is one that I struggled to watch to the end because the video broke my heart. This woman, retired Justice Mary Odili, is one of those who want to see this country continue in this shameful state as far as it benefits her and her loved ones. This woman hates this country. This woman is corrupt and she stands for injustice. This woman, Mary Odili, is a disgrace to the judiciary and the entire law profession. How can a retired judge take to the media to talk about the presidential election petition tribunal and not for once did she say the judges should be dispassionate and do what is right, no matter who is involved? Not for once did she say the sanctity of the constitution must be upheld. Instead, she attempted to persuade Nigerians to accept the decision of the tribunal, even if it is unjust. She said nobody should bring down the roof of our country, no matter how cheated they were. Imagine what this woman was saying. And of course, she was hinting at the judgment that we are waiting for. But Nigerians did not accept it. They said, no, madam, you can't bring your corruption here and tell us that. Now, let's hear what she said before we look at how Nigerians reacted. See the Mary Odili video. And book launch in honor of Chief Kiari Gazama. Upon the attainment of 25 years as the senior advocate of Nigeria, is an epochal achievement. It is no doubt appropriate that the theme is, quote, the Nigeria of our dreams, a call to the patriots. I say so in the light of the prevailing situation in Nigeria as a result of the 2023 general elections, which has generated a lot of storm necessitating the conversation which we are about to indulge in, as there seems to be moves to draw the nation into chaos or conflagration. These may be brought about by some individuals and groups who find in the ambers of hatred, bigotry, and, triba and tribalism fail to see the possible outcomes of the utterances without caution that are being thrown around. It is human to feel cheated or having the short end of the stick, but one who is not declared a winner at any of the electoral contests, such emotions, however grim, does not justify bringing the roof down, the roof of our nation. The reason is simple, that in such an eventuality, that aggrieved person may not be spared, as the commotion that would ensue would be like an unguided missile which could land anywhere and upon anyone. Therefore, in ventilating our points of view and facts at the electoral tribunals or other courts, a sense of responsibility from all parties is demanded. The situation does not call for the blackmail of the judges or the posting of speculatory hypotheses given such a life of their given them such a life of their own which run riot and accepted by the hapless and innocent in the society as the truth. Knowing the quality of participants at this colloquium, and I'm happy those who are well equipped in litigation matters or electoral disputes. Chief Olonekweku is a master and our Attorney General recently sworn in. These are experts. I am confident that having such persons here, including our Chief Host, Chief J.K. Gazama, there is confidence that at the end of the day, a resetting of the mind would be taking place and we would keep things in perspective in the full knowledge that elections are seasonal 
and litigations relating to their to be of the same bed. And so, when the seasons are gone, the courts get back to their natural and regular duties of adjudication regarding the affairs and rights of all persons, irrespective of their status in life. You heard her. First of all, from the way she read that write-up, you can tell she didn't write it. And what that means is she's working with Tinubu's lawyer, Wale Olani Pekun, because if you can face the media and read what Olani Pekun wrote regarding the presidential election petition tribunal, then it is clear whose side you are on. And what annoys me is they talk about a plan to throw the nation into chaos, but they forget or they pretend not to know that the man who declared a candidate winner of the presidential election without that candidate meeting the constitutional requirement of 25% in the FCT was the first to call for chaos. The man who conducted an election that did not comply with the electoral laws was the first to call for chaos. The man who conducted an election with 18,088 blood polling unit results and he went ahead to announce a winner was the first to call for chaos. The men who manipulated Labour Party's results in River State, Plateau State, Lagos State, Bielsa, Aquaibom State, etc. were the first to call for chaos. Not those asking for justice. Obi asked everyone to calm down and he went to court. If the judiciary does not deliver the minimum verdict expected of them, that is an open call to chaos. There cannot be peace without justice. You cannot turn the constitution on its head. Then you turn around and blame the youths who demand justice. And look at some of the tweet reactions to this video. This tweet says, Madam Justice, if the justices of the tribunal and Supreme Court fail to give the right judgment according to the Nigerian constitution, be rest assured the roof will be brought down. This country has taken its youth for granted for so long. And in 2023, they decided to take back their country and forge a new Nigeria. That is possible. But what happened? They were being robbed again of that hope for a better country. And you think all will be well? Having heard all that, I want you guys to know that APC is preparing for a rerun. You would recall sometime in my previous video, I revealed that the judges are under pressure to disqualify Tiff Nobu, but how they will manipulate the constitution is what the judges themselves are afraid of. The call for a rerun is what made Tiff Nobu to appoint Wiki as the FCT minister. And you can see how Wiki is doing already. I service up and down. And we are also getting info that um, Wiki is planning to impose curfew after the judgment or on the judgment day. Who knows? Does this tell you guys anything? It seems that these people have already sat down and deliberated the judgment. But only time will tell if the government owns the power or the people. Enough is enough. It is not business as usual. Mm -hmm. We don't tire and this one, it don't choke everybody. Even if Nigeria never happened to you, it go happen to you. It go reach everybody. If we don't get it right now, hmm, guys, forget about democracy. We'll forget about Nigeria. Let them just take our constitution and throw it into River Ninja. Make everybody begin to do anyhow. History is in the making. If the judiciary fails to get it right this time, the generation yet unborn will never ever forgive them. You can see that immediately after Mary Odili read out a letter on behalf of Tiffany Bush representative Olani Pekun, they dropped the judgment day, bam, that it is on the 6th of September. Nigerians, it is now or never. If 200,000 Nigerian youth uh, per state arrive at Abuja on Wednesday, the judgment day, we would have over 7.6 million youth for the court appearance. They don't call us giant of Africa for nothing. So make use of your position, make use of your status. Now is the time to occupy. Now is the time to know what Nigerians are made of. If they want to all of us, me they buy all of us, let them go ahead. Let me end this um, gist with this submission. The fate of our democracy and our constitution lies in the hands of the five judges who will declare the judgment. They will either see their names deep in Nigeria history books for good or for evil. Which shall it be? Please like this video and follow Gist State for more pet updates.